What if your child went to school one day and came home unable to walk? Unsettling, isn't it? Imagine the terror that gripped the hearts of parents in Kenya when over 90 of their daughters, full of life and dreams, suddenly found themselves confined to hospital beds, their legs mysteriously paralyzed. This wasn't a slow creep of symptoms over weeks or months. It was sudden, like a thief in the night, stealing away the normalcy of these young lives. One moment, they were playing, learning, living, and the next, they were unable to take a single step. The illness didn't discriminate. It struck without warning, leaving a trail of confusion and fear in its wake. Parents, teachers, and the community at large were thrown into a state of panic. Rumors spread like wildfire, and the local health facilities were overwhelmed with anxious families seeking answers. And as the number of affected girls rose, so did the level of fear and uncertainty. All eyes turned to the medical experts hopeful for answers and a solution. As fear spread, doctors scrambled to identify the cause of this debilitating condition. When faced with the unknown, where do you start looking for answers? It's a question that health officials in Kenya had to grapple with when they launched an investigation into the outbreak that left schoolgirls with paralyzed legs. The initial theories were as varied as they were confusing. Some pointed to a possible viral infection, others suggested a rare neurological disorder, and yet others believed environmental factors could be at play. The challenge was in diagnosing the illness. With limited resources and no precedent, the task was daunting. Not only did the symptoms vary, but they also seemed to intensify without warning, making it even harder to pinpoint the root cause. Nevertheless, health officials were not deterred. They were determined to solve the mystery. Local and international health organizations joined the effort, providing much-needed expertise and resources. They conducted extensive tests, consulted with experts worldwide, and even explored unconventional diagnostic methods in their quest to find answers. Yet, despite these efforts, the riddle remained unsolved. And as they delved deeper into the investigation, the urgency of their mission became even more apparent. While the search for answers continued, the number of affected girls kept rising. Can you imagine the fear and confusion these children must be experiencing? Picture being a young girl, joyfully embracing school life one day, and the next, your legs refuse to move. The simple act of walking, running, playing becomes a distant memory. This is the harsh reality for over 90 girls in Kenya, their lives irrevocably changed by a mysterious illness. But it's not just the physical toll. Consider the emotional strain these children are under, the questions that keep them up at night, the tears shed in quiet moments of solitude, the uncertainty of not knowing what tomorrow will bring, the heartbreaking sight of their parents' helpless faces. Yet it's in the face of such adversity that the resilience of these girls and their families is truly astounding. There's an incredible strength in their spirit that refuses to be extinguished. They draw from wells of courage we can only imagine, continuing to hope, to dream, to fight. Their struggle is a testament to the indomitable will of the human spirit. It's a reminder to us all that even in our darkest hours, we possess the power to rise. In the midst of fear and uncertainty, the strength of the human spirit shines through. How do you treat an illness when you don't know what it is? This is the daunting question that medical professionals and researchers in Kenya are grappling with. As they race against time to find a cure for this mysterious outbreak, they're trying a myriad of experimental treatments. From adjusting dietary habits to testing different physiotherapies, every stone is being turned in this quest for a solution. The world has been watching, and the outpouring of support has been immense. Medical experts from across the globe are contributing their knowledge, while ordinary citizens are sending their prayers and goodwill. This unity in the face of adversity is a testament to the human spirit. While the quest for a cure is marked by uncertainty, one thing remains clear, the resolve and resilience of those involved. The affected girls, their families, and the medical teams are all united in their dedication to finding a solution. They hold on to the hope that a breakthrough is just around the corner, that tomorrow might bring the answer they've been seeking. In the face of adversity, hope persists. What happens when a mystery remains unsolved? As we delve into the heart of this disquieting enigma, we find ourselves grappling with an investigation that is still underway, a puzzle that remains incomplete. The strange outbreak in Kenya, which has left over 90 schoolgirls with paralyzed legs, raises a host of unanswered questions. What is the source of this affliction? How does it spread? Is there a possibility of a global outbreak? 
These are but a few of the many queries faced by the global health community. This situation underscores the importance of international health security. Never before has the interconnectedness of our world been so apparent, nor the need for shared efforts in combating health threats so clear. In the face of such challenges, it's crucial that we stay informed, that we support the tireless work of researchers and healthcare workers who are on the front lines of this battle. And while we hope for a resolution, we must remember that the pursuit of knowledge is often a long and arduous journey. In a world filled with mysteries, the quest for knowledge and understanding never ends.